Association of Caribbean Hold. Some violence after the parade was over. Yeah, good evening, Natasha. That uh, that shooting just happened. We're learning about it. It just happened uh, moments ago along the Eastern Parkway parade route. But we do want to clarify this happened after the parade was ended. But uh, police do tell us that unidentified male uh, was shot multiple times and that victim is in critical condition at this moment. Now, that accounts for the fifth incident here at the West Indian Day Parade today. But for hundreds of thousands of others, it didn't take away from the celebration of Caribbean whole, uh, culture. And that's what this is all about. More than a million New Yorkers built the streets of Brooklyn for the West Indian Day Parade now in the books. The staple of Caribbean culture drew an estimated one and a half million spectators along Eastern Parkway for the city's biggest street party, where flags, music, food, and symbols of Caribbean heritage were in full display. Celebrate my culture and where my parents came from. The energy of the parade inspiring the next generation of first-time parade goers. The most significant uh, part of uh, this weekend for me has always been, um, you know, safety, enjoying and really celebrating the rich Caribbean culture. But that safety expressed by Mayor Adams early in the day marred by a turn of events following one of the largest parades in the country. We just hear pow, pow, pow. And then we start running and ending up in front of the building here because this is the building here where we live. You understand that we see people running from all directions and the police has come, people running in buildings further down on the block and all of that. NYPD confirmed just around 5.30, a 20-year-old male was slashed in the hand, treated on scene by EMS. A 16-year-old male slashed in the leg, transported to Brookdale Hospital, reported in stable condition. And a 19-year-old was shot in the butt and transported to Kings County Hospital, also in stable condition. Unknown what that was about, but again, our cops were there in seconds. They heard the shots, they responded. And then what we have here now was uh, we had a group of uh, rowdy people on the corner that we thought might be retaliation. Police believe they prevented another incident, crediting the drones they deployed for area surveillance. Police confirmed as they continue their investigation into what led to the incidents, all victims involved will be okay, including the team. Probably over a million people, uh, three or four minor incidents. Uh, Juve prayed last night was one of the best we had ever. This prayed a couple of minor incidents. Cops worked hard. Uh, we're not perfect, but we had a pretty good day. Now, those incidents we mentioned still under investigation. So far, police tell us there have been no arrests. But that's the latest from Crown Heights tonight. Kendall Green, Fox 5 News. Natasha, back to All you. Right. Kendall, thank you so much. And a manhole explosion rattles.